Last week at D for Diving, Mark completed his rescue course, having broken his wrist. Our Welsh warrior did an absolute sterling job, given the limitations he had. At the same time, Gary and Dean worked on trimming the large tree at the back of the shop, <laughs> whilst Nora showed a little bit of backstage work that goes on at every dive shop. And finally, John and Alex completed open water courses and had loads of fun diving. This week at the dive shop, Mark completes his dive master course, Dean becomes a victim, Nora is broken, and not everything is peachy for Gary. So this week Mark did a lot of fun diving and helped out with customers as well, providing in-water assistance as Tail and Charlie. He's completed the rescue assessment as part of his dive master training as well, so that was on Friday. He did a really, really good job and uh, actually Friday morning we got to dive the sisters at the end, uh, which was really amazing, um, totally full of fish and very, very pretty. Um, so congratulations to Mark who then performed this final snorkel test very, very beautifully um, for an amazing skills demonstration quality. And so that then led to more fun evening drinks um, with the team and um, some of our customers and it was a really, really great evening. Hi guys, I'm Dean and these past few weeks I finally got the opportunity, you know, to jump in into the water more often and assist on Mark's rescue and dive master. I've been involved in rescue sessions before, but this is the first time I really assisted on a dive master course, the full length of the course. I got to play victim for Mark on his rescue, which was really fun. It was a really nice experience, especially moving out from uh, advance and rescue diver into accomplishing my dive master. And it's really different. It's a different feeling. It's, there's a bit more to it. And I really do enjoy assisting on courses. Maybe one day, hopefully, may even think about getting my instructor done. But it's been really fun with Mark. I've learned so much. <laughs> the joy and the chill to be in the water and to assist on rescue, which is the best course to be assisting on because it's always really fun and be somebody's victim, <laughs> which I really like, you know, the torture that comes with it. It's really thrilling. I really enjoyed it and I hope to continue working with these guys and working ahead and assisting on more course and bettering myself in diving.
<laughs> so this past week I haven't been my um, usual happy puppy self because I've been on antibiotics for the past two weeks um, I have an ear infection <laughs> <coughs> which has been uh, going on for two weeks already and that means no diving for the past few weeks so uh, I kind of took the opportunity to clean around the shop and do a lot a lot of cleaning I mean when I mean a lot it's like seriously gone to the dark side making my mother proud a lot a lot of cleaning Now don't get me wrong, I really, 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 truly love my job and it's actually a good thing to be out of the water for a couple of days because after diving so much and like every day for the past months, uh, your body sort of starts feeling it. So it's a good thing to have a rest a couple of days, but uh, not even being able to go for a swim here in the shore, like on the beach in the Caribbean, it's freaking torture, seriously. I'm, that's the one part that I'm not enjoying a lot. But inflammation in external uh, ear canals are a serious thing for scuba divers so uh, pressure equalization usually doesn't affect this for me it was a sort of silent thing but it just it felt all the time like it was very wet and it itched a lot so i went to the doctor he said that it had a little bit of a leak inside and it looked uh, very red and uh, yeah inflammation happening so he gave me antibiotics for five days then I went uh, back to see him again and he said okay give it a try so I actually had a DSD on Monday but on Tuesday it was the same thing same feeling again like ear going in but not actually drying so again went to see him and another more week yay so seriously, ear infections for us scuba divers are not to be taken slightly. They are a serious thing. If you really want to enjoy this sport, I would recommend go to your doctor if you have any kind of uh, problem, uh, ear infection or whatever, if it's a re regular thing. And yeah, just try to stay safe and enjoy diving. So one of the byproducts of Nora being broken has meant that yours truly has been able to go diving a lot more, which has been awesome. Typically I might only get diving once or twice a week and so uh, uh, Nora been been out of the water uh, with her ear infection has meant that uh, I've been wanted, I've been needed and it's been great. I've been able to get out there and dive with some amazing people that we've had diving with us, uh, Dale and Amanda and Cliff, it's been good fun. The conditions haven't been great and it reminded me that carrying tanks back and forward on the boat every day does get a little bit tiring but ultimately yeah, I've loved it. So, thumbs up. Uh, let's hope that Nora doesn't get her ear fixed too quickly, hey? Following the work cutting down the tree last week, we organised getting some help to pick up and take away all of the debris. We had a lot of bad weather on the island, so this took a few days to organise, as the ground both at the dive centre and at the landfill was really soft. The guys brought their big truck into the garden and made quick work of all of the debris. However, the guys brought their big truck into the garden, which completely destroyed the path running between the dive center building and the road. Nora felt compelled to let me know about the damage as soon as I came in off the boat. I feel as though I took it quite well. I 
I followed up with a very easygoing conversation with a truck driver. No real drama. And I feel as though we've got a good solution now. Of course, what it means is that Dean and I need to sit down and make a plan for how we're going to fix the path and construct some way of stopping trucks from coming in again in the future. But it's all good. It's no big drama. Honestly, it's not. Promise. So the path has been a bit of a, an issue for me this week. Um, why? I mean, it's, it's, it's one of those things that uh, right now it's, it's COVID time. It's very, very quiet. It's very difficult to keep things together. And we're worried, of course, about the future. So with the work that we need to do to fix the path, it's an added expense. It's an added complication that, that right now I kind of would have liked to have done without. Um, but Dean, uh, uh, who's got previous experience at working in construction and stepped up and said that he wants to lead on the project, given us some good ideas. And between the team, we've managed to uh, pull together, come up with a plan and do it fairly inexpensively. Now, it's one of those things where I'm normally the type of person that says, if you're going to do a job, do it right, do it one time. Um, but recognizing that what I actually want to do is to smash up the path, um, uh, dig a new channel, and hang on a second. So whereas I'd previously said that Dean had stepped up that little <laughs> So what normally I would do is, is do a job one time, um, as I'd much prefer to make sure that if you're going to do it, do it right, get it done properly. But with the costs involved at the moment, um, we've needed to literally just put a skim uh, of concrete over the top of the broken path, knowing that it won't last. It won't last mm, a year. Um, but hopefully in a year's time, the coronavirus situation will have changed. We'll have tourists back on the island and we'll be able to then do it properly, um, do the job properly one time then. Um, so it was frustrating coming in off the boat and seeing uh, the state of it. But, you know, these things happen. Um, so the sun is shining. Let's keep smiling. So thanks again for joining us uh, today and looking at what's gone on this week at the dive shop. If you've liked this video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button and feel free to splash down on the subscribe button, hitting the bell notification if you want to get notified of any new content that we produce. Um, just like to take one more opportunity to say thank you very much for joining us and see you next time. Was that a cheesy enough grin? <laughs> Could go one bigger.